Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. We were doing these puzzles. I, uh... Don't fully know for what purpose. Okay, yeah. That's a kill. It looks like it... You're alive. It almost does, like, set damage yes, to you. you. Good. Good. Hmm. It also always does like the kill. You are not as good as he said you would be. He said you would be worthy. <laughs> this is weird, right? Okay, so yeah, I don't fully understand how this puzzle is like meant to work. Though maybe both red sides open. And now that we have this red side, we can also we can also do this one. All right, so red is starting now. Uh huh. Hello. Shut up, Patrick. Medicinally, I can't care. This is such an awkward jump to make. Like, you have a pretty good jump in terms of just, like, raw distance. Ugh. Okay, what about this way? Oh, it's green. Go! Go! All right. They tasted so good. Very good nights. Okay, so we have magenta now. I think I saw magenta. I think I saw it down the red hallway. But it looks like we're done with the green hallway for good now. Like, just this left one out of the first room. So let's do this. And then play that. This is at least an interesting puzzle. I feel like this might be better without a 3D camera, you know? I don't know if that's weird. Okay, and then the magenta part starts, right? Or does it? <laughs> oh, dangerous the music box is. Is this not magenta? Maybe it was too... Yeah, maybe what I need to do is just go to a different hallway now. I guess I just might not have noticed them. Okay, so there's a pink hallway down here. Kind of lining up the infinity gems. I hate writing laughter as high, 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 high. I don't know why, but something about it really is off-putting. I guess it's supposed to be creepy laughter, so, like, whatever. But I don't know. Okay, magenta. Is this magenta? No. Is this... I mean, this is clearly blue. This animation can be skipped. All right. Let's go. Let's just give that a shot and see if that does anything for me. Okay, I didn't think it would. I can't go this way, can I? Alright. Her laughter means that it's time for me to look it up. Alright, I think I might have been doing the right thing earlier. right path and then go right
you alive? Is this not? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Good. <laughs> Good. Huh. All right, I reset the checkpoint just in case that wasn't working. But I just learned that it's totally possible to actually be falling and then still have enough control to hit the wings. And you'll be doing the animation to come out of the out of the hole. But you'll... Oh, shit. I did this wrong. Well, I guess we'll wait here. But yeah, you can, you can be flying out of a hole that you're in. And you'll... It'll still kill you. Like, you'll get the kill screen. And I guess there's probably no way to save yourself after that, but... Is it this? Oh! Okay. Baba knew you would come. Oh. That's weird. I don't... Maybe this is a Dark Souls thing, but I don't really think about my role as having... Like, as literally making me shorter. <laughs> Alright, enough of you. Okay, now we go forward. I think that side's done now. Because there was a magenta path, and then there was a green path, and we've now gone down both. And this is yellow. <laughs> he takes a fall like a soccer player. Ugh! Oh man, come on. You are not as good as he said you would be. He said you. Okay, well we've got that at least. This part could go a little faster. Like I know that they want to give you enough time, but like Look at how much time I have. I'm just standing here. Okay. And then this turned on like right as I was going through. I waited a little too long there. Don't mind me, everyone. <laughs> Dangerous the music boxes. Oh, come on. You alive? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Good. Good. It's so fine of timing. Not as good as he said you would be. He said you would be worthy. Ugh. This old crone is getting to me. That's part of why I decided to go ahead and uh, look up a walkthrough. Because if I had to keep like banging my head against these things. Her awful, awful voice. Okay, turn on the fire. Okay. Come on. Shut up, Patrick. Patrick Stewart, shut up challenge. Impossible. is beginning to get tedious. Oh, boy. It's just faster. It's faster that way. You know, just little things like that. Can I? Okay. Come on. It starts up again so fast. <laughs> okay, so you can't just blow through it either. You alive? Mm, yes, you are. Good. Good. You are not as good as It's literally just quicker to do this. Whatever, I've got the I've got a PC, so the load times are fine.
Wait, am I stupid? I mean, I know the answer is probably yes. But is there a... Is this part of the hallway colored differently? This looks all yellow. How am I supposed to get in there fast enough? <laughs> Dangerous the music box is. You alive? Mm, yes, you are. Like, <laughs> good. Good. At what timing am I meant to get in there? Don't mind me, everyone. I've just forgotten. You can uh, quick dash with shadow magic. Hello? Floor? Look, it's just faster. All right. Like, I feel like I'm just, like, I'm waiting here. <laughs> See, I totally forgot that you can, like, dash with shadow magic. That timing is still annoying. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that's right. This part we can figure out on our own. I'm not in the, like, I'm not in a need to just, like, drag my way through. Oh, God. I'm not in a need to, like, just agonizingly drag my way through this, so. Oh, shoot. I did that wrong. That's alright. I think the other one was a dead end as well, so... Any second now, guys. Yeah, okay. You alive? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Good, good. You are not as good as he said you would... Okay, red and then blue. Fuck it, I don't know. Like, normally what you would do here as a player is that you would watch the things in order to figure out their pattern and then go through without taking damage. But that's not possible. Because you need to do this in a specific time limit. Oh, it is magenta. Uh huh. Green. And yellow. Yay. <laughs> right, have to be magic. Is there even fire there? You alive? Mm, yes, you are. Good. Good. I had to go. The fucking spikes are coming. You are not as good as he said you would be. Well, I guess I need to go this way now. Would be okay, now what? Puzzle solved. Okay, whatever. Hope I didn't need anything down there. It's probably just a bunch of points or something. Here. Alright. That wasn't too terrible, but just like, why can't you just shut up? I mean, come on. Of course, of course. Baba, good woman. 
Baba not nice. Mhm. Mm New combos available. Wow, that's chapter 9 done, everyone. Oh, this version of that. Cool. Alright, chapter 10. Baba Yaga These are getting so short, you know? Graveyard, and I have sent her soul to the underworld. You she did what? will trouble us no more. Now my friend enters the land of the dead, and his final battle is coming. When? And also why? And try to meet with him at some point. For now he is on his own. The land requires sacrifice. Sacrifice I hope that he can make, because without it, he will not get very far. I must have faith in him now. The seed was sown long ago, and it flowers beautifully. He has come this far down the path. I must believe that he will go all... What, what do you mean you sent her soul to the underworld? Is that just where I'm going? And that's okay? Do you catch her up with me, or do you mean like you killed her? <laughs> Another thing that I've noticed about these levels is that they all do have a pretty good uniting, like unifying color scheme. Like, this one is really purple. The last one was, like, really gold and bronze. The clock tower was as well. Where are we going from here? Yeah, you are meant to jump that way. Sorry, the big quavering lights made it very confu- What? Okay. I wonder... I, I often refer to this as uncharted climbing. But I was actually recently um, playing through some Assassin's Creed. I don't know if it's been mentioned, uh, but in case you haven't seen it, I made two very good videos on Assassin's Creed. They're more of my, like... They're not my, my long-form big LP guys. There, I need to find a better way to classify all these. Because there's really long video essays that, like, you need to be paying attention the whole time, and you watch them as though you would watch a movie, you know? Ooh, and now it's yellow. Ooh, it's like bones. That's cool. Um, and then there's long-form content where it's like, it's a let's play, and it's like, just turn your brain off and watch Wooly drop the ball in Elden Ring, you know? Watch Wooly play through a 40-hour game in 100 hours. You know? Or me. Watch me in the background. That's kind of how I that's kind of how I make content. I make content with intent for it to be watched in the background of something. So like if you have this up on your second monitor uh or if you're like browsing a wiki or doing something like that, I won't be offended. That's kind of how I watch Let's Plays. Back in the day, that was how I would watch Best Friends play in Game Grumps. And like growing up, I was like, yes. This is a fun way to do things. I enjoy writing while... Oh, the fog is poisonous. Yeah, don't give me a good camera angle or anything. Jesus, guys. I mean, you saw that. I literally backed up and tried to redo it. Ooh, what are you? We got the Skeleton Warriors, the Bony Boys. What are these? Creeping Corpse, medium and low. A magical root that grows in the land of the dead that feeds on the carcasses of dead creatures when it uh, consumes all the organic material around it and it's satiated. It evolves from the corpses it is ingested to become a living being. Fully grown, the creeping corpses look for living beings to devour. Almost dodged it in time. Ooh, 
You in the bone NATO. Oh, interesting. Cool. <laughs> I like that animation, I will say. Damn. It's so interesting that this game starts you on like a half, half health, you know? Like, I guess, sorry, I just got a text and I looked away. I really shouldn't have done that. Like, it is kind of interesting, you know? I think I would like it if I was a little closer to these things. Like, I, I, I couldn't see if I was hitting him or not, and I kind of just hoped that I was. Okay. So much song and dance before being able to actually hit a guy. Anyway, this is certainly what I would imagine the Land of the Dead to look like. Or one of them, assuming that it wasn't like really blue. Oh, this way, here we go. But yeah, so there's like long form content where it's like, you put this on in the background and you just watch it for hours. And, and you'll be fine. You know, you don't need to pay f close attention. If you have it up on a second monitor or if it's like, if it's on your TV and then you're on your phone or you're reading a book, then whatever, you know? Like I put on a Let's Play and I play my Legos. I, I put together my, my sets. That's what I do. That's my main move, arguably. We're filling those up. Again, fascinating gameplay choice to give you the full bar and then let you use half of it and say, unlock the rest, fucker. Certainly brave of them. Do we go down this way? Doesn't look like there is anything, and it cuts me off. Camera-wise, it cuts me off. Hmm. This looks like a set piece. Oh, this goes somewhere. I thought this was the path back. I forgot I jumped here. Ironically, I did not jump to a conclusion. I walked there. Is it enough that the fog drains your health? Does it have to slow me down to a pace describable only by the word glacial? Is that necessary? Is it fun? But yeah, and then like watching a TV show, like that is short form content that you have to pay close attention to. a movie or like a like a really good like documentary oh you're a thing right uh one must learn shadow magic in order to become in order to understand the evil we face one must be, become evil to destroy it. there's no place in heaven for us when we become that which we fight against uh-huh Does this not go anywhere? I feel like I'm being invisible walled more and more. Like, look at this. There's so much stuff over there. You just can't go that way. Like, am I getting invisible walled more? I don't know if I am, but like, it would be ironic if you got invisible walled more after getting the ability to double jump. 
But then what could be happening is that my double jump is revealing so many more things that were previously locked off to me. And if I went those ways earlier, I would be like, oh, I was always this limited. Am I supposed to be... All right, sorry. Little hitch there, but we're back on track. Okay. Does it tell me if I have all the scrolls from this? Because apparently you have a scroll that's very easy to miss. Anyway, yeah, I googled that and that's the way that you're supposed to jump it. Cool. Not bad, but backtracking through a level is often like really weird. Uh huh. Neat. I don't know what that means. The fact that he like turns it into like a diving swing is kind of crazy. clean. Get out of there. Creeping coffin. Sometimes a corpse feeds directly from a dead body still in its coffin. In such cases, it doesn't leave, but uses the coffin as armor for mobility. It plunges its branches through the side and extends them, becoming a four-legged monster. It is even more dangerous than usual. All right. Hella. Now what is this? Don't have the key. This is pretty cool. I will say this this set piece, I like it. Life magic, cool, awesome. Man, what if what if they only give you your full health bar back on the really unlike the lower difficulties? What if because I'm playing normal I don't get the whole thing? I wouldn't know because I've not actually dropped down there, but Alright, that's a gem. After like the first batch of things that I did. Oh. It was over here. It's not really a key in as much as it's just a chunk. So why are there all these titans in the land of the dead? Also, this is very much reminding me of Dante's Inferno now. Because now we're going into the land of the dead. It's really cool, interesting things here. Look, Dante's Inferno is like, kind of a crap game. Like, it's kind of all over the place. Make it, yeah, all right. Gotta kill the chairs and tables. Go I, I know the fog is poisonous. I assure you, I was hitting the stick. Mr. Belmont made a conscious choice to not go that way. All right, I'm kind of sensing a divergent path here, so. A tree virgin path now. Many have fallen, their bodies lie scattered like leaves in the wind. The prophecy speaks of one pure of heart, but none pure of heart may pass here. If anyone strong enough to stand against death himself, I fear he may be a blight on mankind also. Maybe we are destined to be ruled by evil, the strong conquering the weak. Perhaps that is God's will. No comment. Nice. That was 
cool. Yeah, all right. I remember being like, how old was I? I must have been like nine. And I was like, oh man, Dante's Inferno looks so cool. I don't remember if that game had a demo or not. Or if I was just watching like one guy's let's play the first 10 minutes of Dante's Inferno multiple times. But I remember thinking that like that game and Darksiders were like the coolest thing ever. I am fully aware of how lame those things are. But I remember thinking that they were super, super cool. But like, you know, when, when you're aged 9 to 15, you know, that that is like edgelords, like radical characters like those. Like that is that is bread and butter. That is life giving. The camera's so far away I can't really tell if I'm looking at the right things. Am I going the right way? Cool. Didn't sprint. Meant to. That's all right. Oh, here you are. Shadow magic. Boy, I hope this is the right way. I think there's a thing over here, right? But yeah, like, I remember seeing, like, Dante's Inferno, the video game, and I was like, that's so cool. There should almost be more games like that, you know? Like, there's a lot of... Oh, this is... There's nothing over there. Okay. Gotta jump when you... Like, there's a lot of, like, free-to-play arena shooters or, like, a, a battle royale. What are, what's the thing occupying? It's, like, games of service now, right? Because, like, I remember a couple years ago, Overwatch made a bajillion dollars. And now no one plays it. I'm like, I'm fine with that. Overwatch, maybe... Overwatch and its company, Blizzard, have maybe dropped the ball more times than anyone has ever dropped the ball throughout history, and that's not an exaggeration because I'm disinterested in the way that this video game has developed. Like, I mean, like... Not even getting into the, the human rights violations at Blizzard. Because, <laughs> you know what? Uh, I don't know if now is the time for them. At some point it will be, but... I don't know if I'm even the person to go to for it. Let's get back on top. But a couple of years ago, Overwatch made a bajillion dollars. And everyone was like, oh shit, we gotta get in there. And so like, Paladins and Lawbreakers and... You guys remember Lawbreakers? Does this go more places? Didn't I get this thing? But yeah, like paladins and lawbreakers and... I... I'm trying to think of any other ones. Valorant is kind of like it. Okay. 
I just checked a walkthrough, and the walkthrough says if you blindly walk right, you can go here. Does this look as though this opens? Like, look at this. That's weird. Like, that's really unusual, right? Oh man. I'm Is this just lack of practice? Cuz I feel like I've been complaining about the camera way more. That's the problem when you like play games months apart cuz it's like is it me? Is it me? Cuz it really could be me. Or is this part of the game just not as good, you know? Like, you know, you beat an area in Dark Souls. It's like, "All right, yeah, I did good. That was a great time and I had a good time." And then you get to the next area, you're like, man, I'm fucking dropping the ball. What's going on here? And like, well, what's the area? Is it the forest? Is it Anor Londo? Is it Blight Town? Is it Tomb of the Giant? Like, but you can't, like, not without knowing when you're first doing your blind playthrough of Dark Souls 1 back in the day. Sorry, not to sound like an old man here. When you're first doing your, your blind playthrough of DS1 way back in the day, it's like, is it me? Am I the one having a problem, or is this area suck? And now we know all the good and bad areas in Dark Souls. But you know, back in the day, never a guarantee. And so like, I don't know if this is, is this my fault? Is this a me problem? Cause like, the only thing that indicates that you should be able to go that way is that it does dead end. And like, I don't know if that's enough thing. What I was saying earlier is, back in the day there used to be a whole, whole bunch of, like, arena shooters and everyone trying to emulate and, and work off of the, the groundswell that Overwatch had made, and so they made like, Lawbreakers and Paladins and like, a bunch of stuff like that. And this isn't even the first time it's happened. Like, it happened years ago when Team Fortress 2 came out. And, like, people made, like, Monday Night Combat. You guys remember Monday Night Combat? You know how I remember Monday Night Combat? Because they had a... I think they had a crossover with Team Fortress 2. The game that survives. Um... Ah, yes. Now we use this thing. Perfect. Okay. All right. Huh. Light magical gem. Are these bigger coffins? Again, this is a camera thing, but like... These are huge, right? Are those not massive? But yeah, and then like PUBG popped off. And everyone was like, go chase that trend. Go make a go make a big arena that all your friends play in. And only one can be the winner. And like a bunch of people try to make that, or they tried to add like modes of those to other games. Oh man, come on. Right, gotta jump that. Any chance that we can just cheese this with items? Oh man, come on. Oh, hey, that one's down. Fuck. 
Checkpoint couldn't be a little closer there, could it? Good night. Anyway, my point is that there's a lot of trend chasing in video games. Like, after Dark Souls popped off, we're now seeing a shitload of people who are emulating Dark Souls and taking that example. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But back in the day, God of War was super huge, and everyone was ripping off God of War. And so there was this era where people were like, what if we just made God of War? And so, like, there's a Sonic the Hedgehog game that plays like God of War. I've talked about this before. Damn it. I'm certain that I've talked about this before. Maybe even in this very playthrough. Son of a bitch. I'll get in there. Yeah, all right. And like, people made Dante's Inferno, and it's like, you guys know God of War? What if we made the poem Inferno by the poet Dante into one of those? And like, they were doing that for everything. Like, I'm pretty sure that there's a journey to the West, God of War.